Hi, you guys. It's Mrs. Leus. Um, today, it's set on your schedule to do your race worksheet. So remember, we talked about race in class. I have my bookmark here. If you want to um, go ahead and make sure you have your worksheet out, it looks like this. One side says crazy about Legos. The other side says school year round. I'm going to go ahead and teach how to do it using school year round, and then you're going to do crazy about Legos by yourself. But please watch the whole video so you can make sure you do this correctly. Let's go ahead and read the short passage about school year round. In many countries, students attend school all year, with breaks every few months. In contrast, students in the U.S. go to school for nine months and then have a long break in the summer. This is because in the past, children were needed to help work on family farms. These days, few people work on farms, but the tradition of summer break continues. Some say that year-round school would help students remember more information they learned during the year. Kids forget a lot of what they learned in school during summer vacation. Others say that kids need a break and that they can benefit from spending time with their families. Use the race strategy, which is right here, to answer the following question. Use the checklist to make sure you do each step. So that's what we're going to do. Here's the question. Do you think students should go to school year round? Give reasons from the paragraph to support your answer. So we are going to come up with an answer, but whenever it asks you to use information from the text, you're going to use this race strategy so that you make sure you answer it like a fifth grader should. So here we go. Okay, so let's look at our bookmark. And we're going to follow those steps, R, A, C, E. But let's think about the question. It says, do you think students should go to school? So this isn't a personal opinion, but it's either yes or no. So I'm going to start with step one, which is R. And it says, restate the question as a statement. How do I do that? Well, here's the question, and now I'm going to use it in my answer. I think... Students, oops, should not go to school year round. So, did I use the question in my answer? Yes, I did. And part A, so we did R, I restated the question and I answered it. It wanted me to ask, do I think they should? And my answer is no. So I said, I think students should not go to school year round. So I did R and A in one sentence. Now I need to give reasons from the paragraph. And that's when we do part C and E. Part C, it says cite evidence from the text. That's when I'm going to go copy a sentence in my answer and use it. Now, when we do part C and E, we need to use a phrase. When we do part C, we're going to use a phrase up here. I'm going to say the text says. You can choose any one, but I'm going to use that one. So our next sentence and our answer is the text says. And here's where I put a comma and I begin my quotation marks because this is where I'm going to copy a sentence. Now, you can't just copy any random sentence. The sentence you copy has to support your answer. Your answer is, I think students should not go school year round. I need to find a sentence that supports that. I'm going to say that Kids need a break, and they can benefit from spending time with their families. Kids need a break, comma, and again, I'm just copying it right here. Because I put quotation marks, I can copy it. This is my citing text evidence. And that they can benefit from spending time with their families. So I just did part C. Check. Part C was 
use one of these phrases and copy a sentence to support your answer. That's the biggest part I don't want you to mess up on is that whatever you quote, it has to support the answer you did in your first step. Now I need to do part E. Part E says explain your evidence. So I'm going to say this explains. And what does that explain? Here's where I have to use my own words. What does this quote explain? You're explaining the quote in your own words and how it supports your answer. I'm going to say that this quote, where it says kids need a break and they can benefit from spending time with their families. I'm going to say that this explains how having summers off or having summer off is beneficial for students. Period. I did part E and that's it. Look at how long that answer is for one question. So whenever it asks you to use evidence from the text, this is your strategy, R-A-C-E. Now you guys are going to do the same steps on the other side where it says crazy about Legos. You're going to read the paragraph. You're going to answer the question, why are Legos so popular? You have to follow your race steps. Here are your race steps. If you want to pause, Restate the question is, st is step R. A is answer the question. C is cite evidence from the text. And E is explain the evidence in your own words. When you do part C, you need to use one of these phrases. And when you do part E, you need to use one of these phrases. So when you get to this part, you can pause the video and look at these to help you. And then please be sure you're writing in complete sentences because we are in fifth grade and that's how we write. Okay, you guys, I will check your work when you turn this in, and I will talk to you later.